I'm glad you could join me today. Uh, if you're joining me live, that's great. If you're watching this later, welcome. Um, I'm, today, I'm really excited to share with you uh, a tool that has, well, it's been around about 10 years or so. And um, it's a tool that you could use to set up your blocks um, so that you can see what the blocks are going to look like. And you don't have to have a full design board uh, in, your, in your studio, OK? So um, these are called quilt block design boards. Um, they were created, I believe, by um, a lady named Lori Holt um, about roughly about 10 years ago. And um, what they are is they're boards and they have a little bit of batting on them and they're very colorful, very pretty, um, and you can stack them. So you can set up your uh, quilt blocks on each board, stack them up, and then you can take them to your machine, sew your blocks, take them back, iron, whatever you need to do, and it makes the process all streamlined. So um, I have taken her idea and come up with a little bit better way to put the outside binding on the boards um, because the way that she did it was she used uh, a glue gun and I just am not a crafter as much as I am a sewer so I was like okay what do I have in my studio that I could use to um, do this um, uh, with just the stuff that I have and not have to pull out the glue gun and the glue sticks and all that business. So, hey Joanna, welcome. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know, okay? Um, I'm gonna go over to my ironing board and show you the boards and then show you the process on how to make those, okay? So bear with me just a second. Uh, let's see, let's see. Hopefully, okay. You can Hopefully, you can still um, hear I'm me. Trying out new um, cameras, cameras and new whatever. So anyway, okay. So here, here are the boards. boards. See, they're, they're uh, stacked. stacked. Okay. okay. And, and this, this is what they look, look like with nothing on them. them. And they and have this binding edge, edge around them, just like a quill would have, have, right? So then, this is what you can do with them. You can take and lay out your block. Okay, these little squares. Push this up. There we go. Okay, and then you take it to your machine, and you then you've got rows that you've sewn together, and you can lay it back out on this, you know, on on your board. And then there's your finished block on a, on a board, right? And then you can even lay a couple of them if your boards are big enough. You can lay a couple of them to see what it's going to look like, and so forth. Right? And the beauty of these is that. There's batting on the top, but on the back, it's there's not any, so they don't stick together. So I can lift this up, and the pieces stay put on on the batting part. So it's kind of like having a huge design um, wall, but you broke it down into these into these block size pieces. Um, these these squares are 16 inch squares. And I found I made some 12 inch, and that was just not big enough because I make I tend to make larger blocks, so apparently. So that's what we're gonna be making today. That's what they look like. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need some of this white. You can use black, I suppose. Um, this foam board, foam core board, right? And cut it to the size that you want your your boards to be. You can make these in all different sizes. Um, and then we're going to use some batting. I use the 8020 Hobbs or any other brand really. Um, 8020 because it, it, it has that cotton in it that makes things stick to it, right? And so you want to have that cut the same size as your board that you're that you're making. Okay. Let's set these up there. Okay. And you're also going to want to have um, your glue stick, which seems to be in every one of my videos, and you're also going to want to have some of this. I don't know if that's upside down or not. Um, it's the Heat and Bond. I get the Ultra Hold. It's the red package. Um, you, they make a light hold, and it's not. Um, it doesn't seem like it would hold up as as well. So I, I like the Ultra Hold. And basically, all this is is it's a sheet of sort of like wax paper 
with a sheet of glue on it. Okay, now that's what this is, it's a glue. And you would put this on, you would put your fabric on here and you, you would basically melt it to your fabric and you peel off the paper and then you stick that down and, and attach it to whatever and it's permanent. Okay, so we're gonna be using that today. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your, um, your board, take your trusty glue stick and I just use a glue stick. You could use a glue gun here to glue this down, but it's not, once you put the binding on it, it's not coming off. So it's kind of not really necessary. Now, batting, this batting has two sides to it. It has a really nice soft side, and it has a side that has what we call pimples, okay? Things sticking up little bumps. You want to put those pimple sides down on the board. Stick it down, make it nice and flat. Okay, and we're gonna set that aside for later. Now, you're gonna to wanna to use two and a half inch strips to make the binding on this. And they don't, I would not recommend using bias strips. I use straight strips, okay? So, and you're gonna want four times the uh, length of your of your block, and then a little extra to overlap them. So this is a 16 inch, that's 32, 64. So I need probably 68 or so in length, 68 inches or so in length if I'm making a 16 inch board. So you wanna lay your um, two and a half inch strip down. You wanna fold it in half and you wanna press it. Then, you want to take and fold in the edges like this, okay? And I usually do one side and then the other. Um, I do have handy tools for making bias tape, but I don't have one big enough for the two and a half inch strip, so um, that doesn't help much. So it ends up looking like this. I hope you can see that, okay? So at that point, it is an inch and a quarter wide. So you're going to want to have this ultra bond, this heat and bond, ultra bond. You're going to want to cut strips of it an inch and a quarter wide. All right. Then let me get a different strip that I started this on. You're going to want to put those you're going to want to put them on your, let me show you on the other end. It doesn't have any on it. Okay. So this is pressed, right? So put the sticky glue side down on your strip. Make sure it's on both edges all the way like this. Can you see that? I'm playing with new cameras today, so hopefully this is going to go well. And we're just going to iron that down. Now I'm using this little bitty iron um, because it's easier in the last step to do this so but you could use any iron you could use your big iron it's you just have to hold it up so um see how it sticks to the to the fabric all right so once you get that stuck down all the way the length of your of your fabric you want to peel off the paper the wax paper part and the glue is still on there isn't that nifty? So you want to peel that off. Okay. I know I'm going really fast. I have a materials list in the um, uh, in the about part down below, down by uh, the subscribe button and all that business. So uh, if you need to know what materials I'm using, just check it out down there. Um, so anyway, so you would peel that off. All right. Then... <clears throat> You would take it and let's go back to our one that we started. Okay, so here's the board with the batting attached. You want to take your strip with your with your ultra bond on there. All right. And you want to lay it, you can kind of see where you folded it in the middle to begin with. Right there. Okay. 
you want to put that on that edge of that foam board and then you want to take your iron and melt that glue down where it sticks okay. don't hold it too long but... so, see if you can see this okay so I'm kind of come around the corner here and I'm just going to keep going with the, down the middle like this, right? I'm just going to iron this here. Just so that it melts. This is why I say I use the small iron because I can come around the sides like this. Okay, and you just keep on going. I'm going to get to another paper, just peel it off. So you can see, I'm putting this on here, kind of making sure it's in the middle. You just press it on there. Okay. Okay, so you would go all the way around doing that. You can see it's it's stuck on there. It's not coming off, right? So you'd go all all the way around and then you'd overlap over here okay so that's that i'll show you the one i am so excited about this is my batik one uh -huh. so i'm almost done with this one you can see i've gone all the way around it right and it's just stuck on just the edge there so i'm gonna finish that this. Get a close-up of my fingers. Okay. okay. And then cut off the excess. So you could fold that under if you want. You can do whatever you want. These are yours. So, you know, I just press mine down. Because if I destroy them, I can always make more. Okay, so then you just want to roll this around and do exactly the same thing. Because you're just, <clears throat> you're just gluing this in place, right? See how that stays down? I'm just gluing it. So this eliminates having to use the hot glue. Because <clears throat> in the original um, way to do this, you'd have to put hot glue in there and then fold it down and burn your fingers, etc., etc. This way, it's just the Ultra Bond and it stays. It does not come off. Now, for the, for the corners, you would just do like you would on a quilt. Put it up in there and fold it over. Right, miter it. Okay, and I'm going to do this on one side, and then I'm going to go back and do it on the other side, and that that's it. It's done. The really cool, one of the really cool things about this, is that when you get enough of them done, you have a stack, right? And you're making a quilt, say that has the same block in it, over and over again. You can take it to your machine, the stack, and you can do all of one procedure, like sewing these two patches together in every block. You can do that all the way down and then take it back to your ironing station and iron them all and put them all back. I mean, as you iron, keep them, you know, put them back on the blocks. And then, see how that's staying down? Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love my boutique one. It's so cool. All right. Just go like this. Same thing, miter the corner. Just like that. And you just keep on going. Okay. 
Let's see if there's any questions. Uh, I, I do not see any questions. Okay. So. Just keep on going. Oh, when, when you're making uh, something, uh, something with, with these boards, boards and you have, have like I said, said, something that has all the same blocks in it, you, you can, can actually take, take them. them. My design wall is my bed. I'm, I'm sure that's the same for a lot of you. Um, so I take these boards with the blocks on them to my bed and lay them out um, and move them around and that kind of thing. Um, it's much easier to move them around like that to get an idea of how they're going to look or whatever. Okay, so you get the idea here. I'll finish this one later. I just wanted y'all to see how it works, how, how you do it, right? And you can see this is not going anywhere. And then I would just flip it over and I would iron this down, of course, on the back. And then it would be done. It would be another another design board. Um, so I'll show you these again. This is what they look like when when they're done, right? Okay. And then whoops. Okay. And then this is a quilt that I'm actually my next live that I do. I'm going to be um, working on this one. So I'll show you how to make this one. But you know, you can play with it. You can turning blocks around and stuff like that and they stick okay so they stick Woo. okay and then I took it over took that over to the machine it was a, I had one on here and I sewed them together and then there's my rows so I can say okay I like these yep I like that okay so I sew them all together and there you go and there you go Fun times, yeah. So I hope that the video and the audio on this one worked for you. Um, I am new to this, so I am trying out different audio settings, different video settings, so bear with me <laughs> as we go. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. And if you have a comment, an idea about these that I didn't, mention or um, want to know something more about them or have a question about anything sewing related or quilting related, uh, just leave me a comment. And please be sure to subscribe. Um, and there we go. Here I am. <laughs> if you want to catch more of my videos, uh, subscribe down below and I will see you next time. Okay. Have fun.